fact, I'm going to go down there with you. Um, I want to ask you a question. How many of you have ever looked into a mirror for the down there? Hi and welcome, welcome today, welcome to my bed today. My name is Dr. K and today, guess what? I'm going to go right straight into it. I'm going to go down there with you. Um, I want to ask you a question. How many of you have ever looked into a mirror for the down there? Anybody, anybody? Let me tell you, half of us have tried and most of you really haven't done it. But I'm going to help you right uh, go into it and you're going to have uh, and understand what is going on down there. So today I'll discuss about your anatomy. Yay! The women and female anatomy. Um, yeah, even men can get to know about this, by the way. Please join in and watch this because this is very important for you too. Um, and why? Because you need to understand what is going on down there and where you need to go, where you need to avoid. Um, yes, and what to tell the doctor whenever you go to the hospital. So let's get right into it. Um, so I will explain to you the different parts of your female anatomy, the outside and also the inside. The outside has several parts. We have the, uh, we'll start from up to down. You know that area that has hair above, there, the, there's a bit of hair, you have to keep on cutting it. That area, sometimes it's usually like a mountain like this. We say it's called a love mound. Sorry, that's what we call it. Or maybe that's what I call it. <laughs> So that is called the month's pubis. Very, very important area. Helps you um, in terms of um, in terms of whenever you sweat, it doesn't your sweat does not go down into those parts. You can imagine. Um, but most people usually shave that area. So we'll talk about that later on in different episodes. But yes, I'm gonna go straight into the next part of this. The next part is your clitoris. You know that clitoris, that thing that is right in the middle and then comes out has a hood that one that's the one i'm talking about very very important organ unfortunately some people have it some people don't have it because they've gone through some procedures like the fgm which we'll also have a discussion on that because it's very very important just in case you don't have it it's okay but if you do have it it's the one right in the middle very important for sex, sexual pleasure. Um, yeah, and it's what makes a woman what they are. And it, different, it differentiates them from a male, especially when you're born. Then the next part you have is the outsides. You see the outside parts that have folds. They're called the lips, the outer lips. Those are called the labia majora. Very important parts as well. They're the ones that cover up and protect that area inside. That part that needs to be protected, yeah? Then inside you have the inner part, which is called the labia minora. They're smaller. They do not have hair. And these areas are also supposed to cover up and protect now the urethra and the vagina, which I'll talk about in a bit. But something important about this labia minora, this area can have different sizes, can be long, can be short, can be open, can be closed. And everybody is different. It's just like having your face, as Shiro says, hmm. <laughs> different faces. Uh, of like when you see different people, you see different faces. Just the same thing. Everybody's down there is their own unique selves. No need to worry if someone else has a different one or a more special one or what we call more beautiful. Everybody is beautiful, and those are the main ones. The labia minora are the ones that kind of show how different you are. Let me just go straight into the urethra. Underneath the labia minora, you have that hole right below the clitoris and below the labia minora, there's a hole there. That hole, you don't usually see it unless you really look for it. It's where you pee. That's where urine comes from. It's connected upwards with your bladder and other areas of your urethral system. And then underneath that, 
Now there's an area there that's the most important part where you give birth from, where you do have your, um, when you have sex, that's where the penis goes through and it's called the, 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 um, the vagina. No, that's the vaginal entrance. It's called the introitus. You'll see it looks wavy. I've said you have to look through the mirror to be able to see through, to see this. It's a bit wavy, that area where there was a hymen to be wavy. If you have a hymen, it's going to be smaller. Still open, but a bit smaller. That's called the introitus. It opens through into the vagina. So that's your external female system. For those who want to know what the internal system is, it's very important as well because some people don't really necessarily have the complete structure, but most of you do. And it involves... The, you, you can see the vagina is inside. Remember, by the way, the vagina is never a, a, an open hole, it's a closed hole. So for those who say, oh, you have a big vagina, this does, that does not exist. It's just the elasticity. That's the vagina. It's inside. You can't see it through the mirror, but for, for us, we've been able to see it. So it's a closed hole, only it's a potential hole. You can be able to open it depending on your elasticity. So when you go in, you have now the uterus, the one most wonderful. Now what makes me a gynecologist is that uterus. Believe you, four years of gynecology, just that, you know? So the uterus is the one that covers, uh, c carries your baby, uh, helps you um, also have your period. That's where the period comes through. It comes through there and goes out through the vagina. And then from it comes the fallopian tubes. They are like tubes both on, on two sides, and then they end up going to where the ending, where um, it looks like an open hand like this. So if you do have uh, your, your, your ovulation, it comes from the ovaries, which are the end of your fallopian tubes. The egg comes through your fallopian tubes down to the uterus. And then that's where you have your fertilization and that's where your baby grows if you are pregnant. So I hope you've understood a little bit about your internal and external genital system. I hope guys are watching this too so that you can understand and also know what women go through. And yes, Kariboni, welcome to my bed with me, Dr. K. Hey.